I'm, uh, my name is Christoph Jehn. I'm uh, a part of FFG, Flensburger Fahrzeugbaugesellschaft. A difficult word in English, so we, let's stay with FFG. Uh, we are a tank producing company uh, from the north of Germany and uh, we produce a variety of vehicles. So what you see here behind us is the, uh, our latest uh, development. It's a Boxer recovery module. Uh, the Boxer 8x8 uh, armored recovery vehicle, uh, which has been, uh, has been fielded in uh, too many NATO countries currently. Uh, uh, it's a modular vehicle, but was uh, up to now lacking a recovery capability with a crane and a winch. So uh, we took up that uh, challenge as a private venture and designed that uh, module. And it features a 20-ton crane and a 20-ton uh, main winch for, as the main tools for recovery. Uh, as well as the cutting and welding stations and whatever tools the potential user uh, requires for his uh, services. The module you see uh, behind us uh, is an armored module. It fits uh, to the uh, standard interfaces of the uh, Boxer ARV. The module is autonomous. Uh, it is run on a, on a large battery pack which is inside, which generates the, and stores the required power to uh, provide the hydraulic forces through hydraulic pumps uh, to uh, generate this 20 ton lifting force and 20 ton pull force uh, which uh, enables the module to uh, move other mission modules uh, which are out there of various types for the boxer uh, from one driving module to the other, take them off for maintenance, replace uh, power packs, engines, weapon stations, uh, pull out a uh, distressed vehicle out of a ditch and stuff like that. That's what this module is built for. Uh, the, the has a crew of two, a commander and a gunner. It can feature a remote weapon station, as you see on top, uh, as required by the customer. The customer will specify uh, what, uh, what is required and then we'll sit together and provide an engineering solution because that's our core capability at FFG, to provide customer-tailored solutions. Expectation is it's a debut. We didn't uh, do much uh, marketing work for that because we uh, wanted to showcase it here for the first time. Uh, the reception at the, uh, at the show here is awesome by the, uh, uh, the potential customers. So we uh, have lots of uh, interesting uh, conversations about the module, getting feedback and we are hoping obviously to uh, to build uh, closer ties with potential customers uh, in order to uh, sell it eventually. Well, good afternoon. My name is David Kaufman. I'm the sales manager for Straight Group based in the United Arab Emirates. This is the fifth year that Straight Group has been proud to present our vehicles to DSCI. In particular, what's fascinating about this year for us is that we have a new amphibious vehicle, which is a Sherp, which I'll show you in a moment. And also we have Straight Marine, which has been created and founded in the last few years. And this year at DSCI, we're, we're highlighting our Triton 850 and also our Sand Tiger 750, which is actually a hovercraft vehicle. We have four military grade armored vehicles. Behind me, as you can see, we have the Falcon ABC. To my left, which you'll see in a moment, is the Jeppard ASV. Uh, we also have the Python, and we also have our newly upgraded and armored Stanek 4 Scorpion, which is at the back of the, the booth. The reason we manufacture so many different variants of vehicles is because no scenario, sortie or mission is ever the same for any country, be it uh, urban combat, off-road combat, environments or mission statements whereby there are mines or IEDs. So we develop our vehicles very closely with the client's visions and security and safety at all times. For us, DSCI as a whole is very important. It gives us the opportunity to meet country delegations and for the delegations to actually come and see that the products that we produce and we, we phone them about and we email them about and talk to them about, they can actually see that they're produced and the quality and standards that we deliver continually to our clients. In the first half of 2019, Stray Group have already manufactured and delivered over 600 vehicles which have gone across the globe 
to all of our clients, which is a fantastic achievement for one of the world's largest privately owned vehicle companies. I am the president of uh, Defense Industry of Turkey and uh, we are responsible in uh, providing Turkish Armed Forces and Security Forces different equipment and also R&D projects in Turkish Defense Industry. We have uh, overseen all Turkish Defense, uh, defense Industry uh, environment and we are here today in the DSEI uh, to see first what the other countries are doing and also more important is to present Turkey and Turkish companies capabilities and products as a showcase so that uh, Turkey's uh, level of advancement in defense industry would be known by the world because uh, in last 15 years we had great progress in defense industry and defense products. Uh, that served in different uh, operations at different level and with a great success. Uh, so when this capability is known by other countries and allies and strategic partners, so this will create more synergy and will have uh, sale opportunities and also some collaboration opportunities, uh, some joint projects. In the meantime, as a government agency, we are here to have G2G meetings and uh, negotiations with other countries. In one hand, there are about 43 Turkish companies here presenting their products and have different uh, meetings with different uh, parties, governments and companies. And uh, we are uh, here as a government agency to support our companies because defense industry in general is an industry that not only companies but the governments and government relations are important. So. We are here to show our support for our companies and uh, it is a good environment for us. Also, it's a good opportunity uh, to let uh, what level Turkish defense industry came right now and what is our future projects and future targets so that we can have some joint projects with other countries and other companies. And uh, by this way, we are hoping to increase our defense exports as well as collaboration opportunities because this area is getting more and more expensive and uh, it is not really wise for any country to just launch a very uh, big project alone. So this is also a good opportunity to discuss big projects that we are running like Turkish national fighter projects, national submarine projects and UAV projects and some engine and aircraft projects. So I'm the chief engineer uh, with L3 Harris Technologies in the robotics division. So L3 T Technologies and Harris Corporation recently merged as of July. Um, and it's pretty exciting. Those two companies make an awful lot of uh, uh, great technologies. Now combined, we're about 50,000 employees, uh, over $18 billion a year in business. Um, and uh, you know, it's, it's giving us the opportunity to take technologies from those tech two companies, bring them together, and make something that's you know, even more capable than we had in the past. So what you're looking at is our newest robot, T4. We're just unveiling it here for the first time. Uh, we have a larger robot called T7. This is a medium-sized robot, really designed to handle hazardous threats like explosive ordnance disposal, chemical and biological sorts of threats. Um, and what you're looking at here is about a 100 kilo robot, but with the capabilities of a much larger robot. You'll notice it's got a very large arm. Uh, my colleague here is gonna start controlling it in a moment, and as he moves it around, the way it works is as he moves his hand, the robot's actually gonna mimic his movement. So if he pushes down, it's gonna go down towards the ground. Inside those fingers are sensors that measure force. So when the robot goes and grabs something or pushes on something, 
at the controller that force is then reproduced and he feels what the robot feels. So it moves how he moves, he feels what it feels. So it gives you the ability to do some very complex tasks very quickly, very easily. It's an easy system to learn as a side effect. And fourth, situations like explosive ordnance disposal, chemical, biological threats, we have the ability to deploy mission-specific payloads. So for EOD, we do uh, disruptors. So this can be fitted with an array of different disruptors to defeat threats that are explosive. For chemical and biological threats, we've got payload connectors to allow sensors to be placed on the arm and down on the chassis. And for ease of deployment, the whole robot arm, when it's stowed on the chassis, easily comes off. The robot can be broken down into smaller, lighter uh, pieces. So it's something that you can transport in the back of an SUV or a sedan. Something very easy to get to a target, but once you put that together, you've got a lot of capability that you can get into some fairly tight spaces. Yeah, so DSEI is a great show. We've been at, uh, I've personally been at this several times, and it's an opportunity for us to interact with customers from all over the planet, um, especially for a new product like this, where we're bringing something forward that we're hoping people are gonna be excited about, that we think there's a lot of capability here that they've not seen before, and to be able to interact with users, interact with people from the procurement community, and to see them react to it uh, the, the, the same way, you know, uh, that people get excited about it, but moreover, they're also bringing new ideas to us. As I bring a new capability to them, they're thinking of new problems that I've not thought of and ways to use this tool as a way to solve those problems. I'm Laurent Soyer, uh, Director of Business Development for Europe. I am in charge of all communication products for the company. So at, at DSCI, uh, we are under the banner of Collins Aerospace, which consists of uh, the former UTC Aerospace Systems and Rockwell Collins, which have uh, merged together uh, under the banner of Collins Aerospace. Collins Aerospace is today at DSCI launching a new URG4 system, which is our new military HF solution for ground fixed sites and for navies, which embeds a state-of-the-art solution for wideband beyond line of sight uh, data transfer. So with this new product that you can see on the booth here, uh, we have a new transceiver uh, and we have a new power amplifier, which allows to transfer high throughput IP data between the users. Uh, the benefit of our new wideband HF solution is to allow the communication of real-time IP data, um, including chat, emailing, even video between the users uh, with long-haul strategic communications. DSCI is the right forum. Uh, to launch such a, such a product because we have all the defense community present here. All the NATO countries, the NATO nations are there to see our new product, which they are using today uh, in the previous version. And so they will be